Ladies and gentlemen, imagine this. You're cruising down Route 66, wind in your hair, the open road stretching before you, and your car is sipping sunlight like it's on an all-inclusive beach vacation. No gas stations, no charging stops, just you, the sun, and a futuristic pod that looks like a stormtrooper's weekend ride. Welcome to the world of the Aptera Solar Electric Vehicle, where road trips are powered by sunshine. And the only thing burning is your skin, because you forgot sunscreen. But before we get into this, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. That way, you won't miss out on our latest adventures, rants, and occasionally well-researched automotive ramblings. And yes, there's a link to the Officera website in the video description below, because some of you will definitely want to check if this thing actually exists. Now, back to business. The Aptera, a two-seater solar-powered electric vehicle, just completed a 300-mile, 480-kilometer road trip from Flagstaff, Arizona to Imperial Valley, California via Route 66. This marks its first filmed long-distance journey, and let me tell you, that's a big deal. You see, most electric vehicle road trip stories involve either range anxiety or awkward conversations with strangers at charging stations. But Aptera? It just basks in the sun like a lazy cat and keeps rolling. Let's talk specifications. The Aptera features a lightweight carbon fiber composite body with an aerodynamic shape so slick it makes land speed record cars look like bricks on wheels. Its drag coefficient is lower than your chances of getting a straight answer from a politician. And the real kicker? It's got 700 watts of solar panels slapped on the roof and hood, allowing it to juice up to 40 miles, 64 kilometers, per day without ever plugging in. That's right, your car is basically photosynthesizing. If a tree had wheels, this would be it. On this particular trip, the Aptera managed 520 watts of charging just from the sun. But instead of drying your hair, it's keeping you moving. And if you want to go the distance, the launch edition comes with a 400-mile, 640-kilometer battery, while there's also an option for a 1,000-mile, 1,610-kilometer battery. You know, in case you hate stopping altogether. It tops out at 101 miles per hour, 162 kilometers per hour, and with a 201 peak horsepower, 150 kilowatt drivetrain, it's not exactly a speed demon, but hey, you're not here for drag races, you're here to never pay for gas again. Now let's talk money. The launch edition is priced at 40,000 United States dollars, which is actually pretty reasonable considering you'll never have to pay for fuel or oil changes. And guess what? Aptera has already racked up 48,000 reservations. That's right, 48,000 people are ready to trade in their boring gas guzzlers for a spaceship on wheels. Production is set to start this year in small numbers, but the company has big plans to scale up to 20,000 cars per year by 2027. Ambitious? Yes. Doable? Well, let's just say I hope their production line runs on solar too, because that's going to take a lot of energy. Now, what do I think about all this? I love the concept. A car that fuels itself with the sun? Brilliant. But let's be real, this is not the car for you if you live in Seattle. If you spend most of your time under gloomy skies, you might as well be driving a potato. However, if you're in a place like California, Arizona, or anywhere that sunglasses are a necessity year-round, this thing could be a game-changer. So, will Aptera revolutionize the electric vehicle industry? Maybe. Will it make you look like you belong in a science fiction movie? Absolutely. And if you want to see more about this futuristic solar chariot, check out the link in the description. It'll take you straight to the official website, where you can stare at it for hours and dream about never paying for gas again. Oh, and before you go, consider a sponsor of Answer of our channel for just one United States dollar. One dollar! That's less than a cup of coffee, and yet it'll help us bring you more rants, jokes, and deep dives into the world of insane vehicles. The link's down there, and so is my self-respect. See you in the next one.